Hello and welcome to the TrueCast to the Welcome to week number 5 of KCC. This week we're facing up the second Titan of our schedule in Kylo. Kylo's draft is quite scary. His draft consists of Rocket Boral, Guard Dragon, Megalith, Hieratics, Heralds, Cyber Angels, Chaos Space, Dark Ruler No More, Phantasme, and evenly matched at two copies. So, the reason why this matchup is so annoying is because Kylo has both really good going first decks in Rocket and Herald, um, being able to set up negates that some of my fragile decks can't deal with, and then he has good going second staples in Dark Ruler No More and evenly matched, which can break some of my more annoying to break boards going first so it's sort of implied that we're going to lose this week because this matchup is so difficult however we're going to still try um the plan ultimately is we're going to throw one of our more most fragile decks at shiranui uh with the we guess we're gonna throw one more we're gonna throw shiranui at harold essentially maybe it can win probably won't um then hoping we can pick up the wins with our going second dinos and raid raptor so that's ultimately the plan i predict kylo to bring heralds dragon link and megalith let's see how it went match one is shiranui versus herald as we expected kylo won rps when was going first using gale dogger to dump two arc lights which searches out what he needs to summon Herald of Perfection, which he summons with about five negates for my turn. We try to force our way through the board with important cards like Zombie World, but Kylo just has too many negates for how fragile we are, and Kylo ends up slowly chipping out our life points with Perfection. Game two, we're going first, and unfortunately our Solitaire gets negated, so we're forced to set two and pass, hoping a pointer and bribe is good enough. With a point here, we rip out Dogra, and we Dark Bribe the pre-prep, which draws him into prep. Kylo ends on Herald of Perfection with enough negates to prevent us from getting a foothold in this game, and he takes the match 2-0. Match 2, we're bringing Dinosaur vs. Megalith. As we expected, it's all going to plan. We force Kylo to go first, hoping our Go Second Staples can take him by surprise. However, Kylo starts by going through his combo, using Megalith on form to dodge our Ghost Mourner. Then he searches Vanity's Ruler with Ben 10 and summons it, forcing Game 2. Game 2, we decide we're going first, and we're forced to sit on a Petite Pteranodon, which lets Kylo combo off a little bit and summon Vanity's Ruler, winning this match 2-0. Not according to plan, and unfortunately we've lost the week. Uh, it was kind of to be expected. Match 3, let's not get 6-0'd. The plan failed, but whatever, which is kind of to be expected. However, if we can win this game, our differential won't look as bad. We win RPS going first and full combo, which Kylo isn't able to break. But going to the sideboard, we do need to watch out for staples like Dark Ruler and Evenly. Kylo's going first, starting with Safer, and goes through his combo utilizing the baby Chaos Dragons, LP, Pisty, Brotar, and other dragon stuff to make spheres and a hand rip, which I'm surprised about. I expected more from a tier 1 deck. We start by summoning Vanishing Lanius and Tribute Lanius, and mill the wrong card. Why does this keep happening to me? Am I not good with the best deck I'm supposed to be good with? Anyways, we attack in for some damage and are forced to pass. Kylo starts going through his combos again, and easily sets up lethal with Boralen, Chaotic Ruler, and a bunch of other shit. God, we need to win the game three. Game three, we're once again going first, focusing. We can't fuck up this combo. We go full combo. With Kylo having no interruptions, Kylo prolongs the game by continuously setting monsters, hoping to find the cards he needs, like Dark Ruler and Evenly, to break the board. However, he's unable to find these cards, and we're able to take this match 2-1, not 6-0'd, only 5-0'd. Let's go! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're halfway through our 10-week season, and we are currently 3-2, and two, putting at, surprisingly, at third place. First place is... 
Kylo of the Arizona Warheads, second place is Onyx of the Deltaville Dragon Maids, and I am third place. And Endless is right behind me. So, this playoff race is going to be quite interesting. We do have five more weeks, and our schedule looks to be not as painful as I thought. So next week, we are facing up Leo of the New York Gem Knights, and that is going to be my hardest game, I think, for the rest of the season. Then we are facing Bread Boy of the Chesterfield Evil Twins. Then we are facing Pikachu of the Mad City Modulches. Um, our last interdivisional battle is versus Houston Obelisk and my boy Trey. That is going to be a very rough matchup, but I think we can win. And last week we have Brett of the Philadelphia Cobalt Eagles. So we have a good shot at playoffs. Um, and it's looking like we can make it trades and week six and it's time we part with dragoonity kylo has used up all of his transactions and so our non-purposeful our um incidental game of keep the dragoonity away from the dragon thing players over so we will be dropping dragoonity for artifacts and i'm cooking up some fucking heat with that deck so, I hope you all enjoy the rest of the season. I hope you will stay with the Baltimore Raid Raptors. And let's get into playoffs, baby. Let's take that title. We haven't gone past quarterfinals, so I plan to change that. Anyways, comment and subscribe it really helps the channel. And if you'd like to see more, you know where to look. Bye-bye.